Hey, I went to a local comic show last weekend with a small budget. I still managed to come back with a nice stack of books, but I left some killer stuff behind that I would really like to have. But I only had so much money to work with, so let's take a look at what I was able to bring home. Yo, Joe, talking comics. Here's your host. It's a real American Brian. The show I went to is held four times a year and gets about 20 vendors each time. I spent a few hours walking around, flipping through long boxes, and could have easily spent a few more hours there if I'd wanted to. Um, I picked up a nice collection of weird books that speak to me and make me happy. Uh, you won't see many big spec books or secret keys here. Um, I'm in the hobby for stuff that makes me happy, not for investment. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at and where the why you'll see such strange books here. But let's start looking at the comics. Give this video a like as I start pulling these things out. Um, the first thing, I didn't have an agenda of books um, that I was definitely looking for, but I do want to get some good Plan of the Apes books for my collection and some older Daredevil. And of course, I'm always looking for G.I. Joe books. Um, I went in with some cash in my wallet, and that is all I really wanted to spend. And almost right away, I was tested. Um, the second vendor I came to had a book that I've had my eye on for some time, Beneath the Plan of the Apes, number one. Uh, this is the first Planet of the Apes in a comic book format. Uh, the seller had it complete with a poster that's usually missing, and it was in pretty good shape, too. Uh, but if I had bought that, it would have been the bulk of my budget for the day. And I thought about it long and hard and ended up putting it down. I'm sure I'm going to regret that one. Um, but I, if I had grabbed it for this video, it would be a lot shorter because my stack would be much smaller. Uh, but I did pick up a few books from that vendor. Uh, I got... Crow number one from Image. Uh, I think this series came out in 99. I'm a fan of the Crow. I thought this cover was pretty cool. And I also did leave that vendor with a Planet of the Apes book, but not the super exciting one that I was looking at. I got a Planet of the Apes book uh, with the record, book and record set. Um, and yeah, so I picked those up from them. Then on to the next vendor uh, that I purchased stuff from. Probably has some more of the more interesting purchases. Um, I got Daredevil number 28. Uh, it's a very low-grade copy. has multiple price stamps on it and a store stamp on it, along with some heavy creasing and some other issues, but I love it. I don't know why, but I really like the Silver Age books that have stamps on them and have obviously been read and loved. I think it's cool. You know, the book has a story to tell. It doesn't hurt that having them in low grade makes them easier to afford either. Um, I paid $10 for this one. I don't think it's a phenomenal deal, but I'm very happy with it. Um, the same table had several boxes of $5 books, and if you grabbed enough, they gave you one free. So I picked up some fun things. I got uh, Daredevil 500 staying on the Daredevil theme there. Uh, super cool. Looking forward to just reading through it and giving it a try. I mean, for a few bucks, it wasn't that bad. Then I got the True Believers reprint of the Hulk vs. Thing cover that I've always liked, and now I have the reprint version of it at least. And Marvel Knights number one. Um, I don't remember seeing this cover when it came out initially, but I don't have a copy of it in a single issue form. I have a trade paperback of it. But I grabbed that, and then there was a Tales from the Crypt reprint in a you know, smaller format. I thought that was kind of cool. I'm trying to get my Tales of the Crypt stuff together. I got some trade paperback, the recent ones that um, they've been putting out. So, read through that. And then Spider-Man 2099, number one. This is uh, the newer series that um, Peter David wrote, and I don't have this number one. I'm a big Spider-Man 2099 fan, so I figured, why not for a few bucks? And then finally, keeping with one of the other themes of the day, I found another Planet of the Apes book. Um, Kind of decided that, you know, one of the things I want to build up with my Plan of the Apes, I definitely want to get more of the classic Apes books, but also any of the number ones from any of the series that have come out, I'm going to kind of get Plan of the Apes number ones. It's going to be one of my things that I collect. Um, but then the bigger purchase, pro probably the biggest purchase I made of the day was from this same vendor. And he had 20% off some of his keys and minor keys. Um, and I got a very nice copy of Daredevil number 184. Uh, looks fantastic. It's a beautiful copy here. Um, I'm really considering sending this in for the Frank Miller Klaus Janssen signing that CGC is doing, the in-house signing. Maybe getting a double autograph on it. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but it's a phenomenal cover. Cool Daredevil. 
minor key, I guess, because really all it is is a cool cover. It's the first time he teams with Punisher. The issue before this, he was fighting against Punisher. So yeah, super minor key, but awesome cover. Um, and that's all I got from that vendor. Um, the next vendor, um, I'd already taken a big chunk out of my funds there. So it was nice that I got to dig through some 50 cent boxes and just picked up some random things that I thought would be fun to read. Um, if they don't stick with me at all, it's, you know, I'm out 50 cents. Uh, and I got to read a comic book and I'll throw them. I started a stack of books that I'm just giving away to people. Anyone that comes over to my house that you know wants to sort through my giveaway pile. Um, so if they don't stick with me, if I don't go any deeper into the books, you know, they'll go into that pile and I'm out 50 cents. Not a big deal. But I grabbed uh, Madame Frankenstein and E-Man. Thought it was pretty neat. And Tooth and Claw. And Destroyer Duck number two. And Symphony for No Devils. Sympathy for No Devils. And those were my 50 cent books that I picked up from them. And then I went on to the next vendor and it was, he was selling more toys and stuff, but it had like one small box of very random comics for just a couple bucks each. And I went ahead and grabbed Daredevil number 122 because it was nice and cheap. It has a super cool cover. I thought, why not? I'll give it a read and see what that's about. And then another Planet of the Apes number one. It's Planet of the Apes special number one um, because it's Planet of the Apes and it has number one on the cover, I guess. And that's what I'm doing now. Uh, then the next booth, um, I kind of broke my own rule. I've, they had a whole bunch of $5, five three dollar um, boxes that I was going through. And I found some cool stuff I wanted. I thought I had a $20 bill in my pocket, but when I pulled it out to pay for it, it was a $10 bill. So I was going to pay with the credit card. So since I was paying with the credit card, I was like, hey, there's some, you know, a couple bigger books that I saw you had that I'm interested in too. I'm going to go ahead and grab those to make the credit purchase worth it. So I broke my budget, but it's okay. Um, but I did pick up the Incredible Hulk. It's a reprint with the homage cover. I thought it was kind of cool. So I went and grabbed that. And a creep show blank cover that I have some big plans for. Hopefully I actually do it. Um, we will see. Uh, I hope so. I have some, I think I'm, I'm going to attempt to do my own sketch cover on it rather than send it out to somebody else. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, then I also grabbed Moon Girl and Dinosaur number one, the Scotty Young cover. I'm a big fan of Scotty Young. Uh, the series just came out on Disney Plus. I haven't watched it yet. I uh, need to. But this cover is super cool and it will pair well. I recently got Devil Dinosaur number one, so it kind of goes along with that, sort of. And then they also had this book. It's the Filmation Ghostbusters. Um, against popular opinion, I really loved the Filmation Ghostbusters cartoon as a kid. I might be the only one, but I preferred it over the real Ghostbusters. So those were the books that I had intended on buying. And then the books that I went ahead and threw in because I was paying with the credit card go along with my Kirby cover collection. I got OMAC number one. So I can add that to my collection of Kirby covers that I've been putting together. And then also, same theme, Machine Man number one. So I thought that was super cool. So now I have, and they're both, I mean, the OMAC's a little uh, discolored, but otherwise looks really great. Um, the Machine Man looks freaking gorgeous. Um, so I may, you know, contemplate maybe getting those slabbed at some point. So I can put them on the wall next to all my other Kirby covers that I've collected. Then, uh, with that $10 bill that was in my pocket that I didn't spend, uh, on my way out, I found somebody that had a bunch of old gold key books for pretty cheap. And I've been interested in the Super Goof books for a while. Um, and I thought at this price, it was a good chance to get them, read them, see if I want to get deeper into them, or if this is kind of a one-time thing. I read them, I tried it, it's time to move on. We'll find out. Maybe I'll go Super Goof crazy and be like one of those rare Super Goof collectors. But he had, uh, I grabbed four issues of Super Goof from him. He actually had several more, but these were the oldest four that he had. So I went ahead and picked those up. And if I like them, you know, again, the show happens four times a year. I assume he's a regular. Most of the vendors there were local. There was one group that was from Michigan, but everybody else was pretty local. So if he's there again, I can always go back and pick up the others to fill out more Super Goof in my Super Goof collection if it goes that route. You know, I'm not committing to that yet. You know, I want to read it and see um, if I like it or not. 
And then also with those, I went ahead and got this Ripley's, uh, believe it or not, gold key book because I thought the cover was super cool. Um, but yeah, so the Daredevil books is definitely the highlight of my haul, but I did get a good little bulk of books for what the budget I went in there with. Um, if there's anything from this stack that grabbed your attention, please go ahead and comment down below about it. I'd love to start a conversation about any of these books. Or if you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know. But thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please give this video a like. I'll be back soon with some more G.I. Joe content. Thank you. So long from Brian. Until next time, same Brian time, same Brian channel.